could happen under under an umbrella tree. Sunny days of thunder, your friends are waiting under under the umbrella tree. So come on, everybody, see you up at Holly's. There's no better place to be. In your imagination, you'll find an invitation under the umbrella tree. helping me, Iggy dear. I couldn't have painted my living room without you. Iggy? Where did he go? He was here a minute ago. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's moving. Oh my goodness, it's a ghost. <laughs> no, it's not a ghost. It's me, Iggy. Oh. Oh, Iggy, you little rascal. <laughs> <laughs> Got you that time, Mrs. McMurtry. <laughs> oh, you're so much fun to have around, Iggy. I never know what's going to happen next. Oh, that's me, Mr. Excitement. <laughs> and you're a very good worker, too. The paint job looks absolutely marvelous. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The paint job really does look great, if I do say so myself. <laughs> and it won't take too long to dry. Then I can put my pictures back on the walls and get the place back to normal. It's really a great color, Mrs. M. I can only think of one other color I like better. Really? What color is that? Iguana green, of course. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Iggy. <laughs> so, is there uh, anything else you want painted? This is fun. No, that's all for now, dear. But I want to thank you again for all your help. If there's anything I can ever do for you, just ask. Well, that's very nice, but I didn't help you paint your living room because I wanted anything, Mrs. McMurtry. I, I did it because we're friends. Well, that's very sweet of you, dear. What a dear little lizard you are. <laughs> and you must be a little tired after all the work. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. Well, now that we're all finished, I think I'll go home and clean up. An excellent idea. Okay, see you later. Doodaloo. I'm beat. <sighs> I'm home. Iggy's back. Anybody home? Huh. Nobody here. I feel like a little music. Let's see. Hey, that's better. <laughs> now I think I'll take that back. That's tough, baby, right? Huh? Gloria. Finally, some peace and quiet. Hey, who turned off the radio? I was listening to the music. Iggy, you were playing the music much too loud. You know we don't turn the sound up on the radio that high in the apartment. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Holly. I guess I forgot. I just wanted to be sure I could hear it in the bathroom when I was having my bath. And Iggy, you left your paint shirt right by the stairs and I tripped over it. I could have hurt myself. Gee, I'm sorry, Gloria. I guess I forgot to put it away. Iggy! Whoa. Did you take my baseball bat without asking? Hey, <laughs> Jake, old buddy, I didn't think you'd mind. Oh, well, I wouldn't mind if you put it back where you found it, but I found it lying on the front lawn. Oh, gee, <laughs> I guess I forgot to bring it in, sorry. Iggy, what's got into you today? You're huh? usually much more considerate of other people's feelings. Yeah, don't be so thoughtless. But, yeah, okay. or careless. Well, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this, a pick on Iggy day? No, Iggy, we're not picking on you. We just want you to be a little more considerate, that's all. And what? thoughtful. What? Well, if I'm so awful to live with, maybe I should just move someplace else. Move someplace else? Iggy, where would you go? Well, there's lots of places huh? I could go. Lots, where I would be 
appreciate it. Well. Calm down, Iggy. Don't get so excited. <laughs> well, where would you go, Iggy? Well, I could... I could move in with Mrs. McMurtry. Huh? Mrs. McMurtry? Yeah, sure. She thinks... She thinks I'm a dear lizard. But she's uh, got such a tiny apartment. Oh, Gloria, real friends don't need space. They enjoy each other's company. You'll see. And you won't have old Iggy to pick on anymore. There, that's perfect. Yoo-hoo, Mrs. McMurtry! Iggy! Hello, dear. Come on in. Oh, I was just hi. getting the place back to normal. Huh. How does it look? It looks great. I couldn't have done it without you, Iggy, dear. <laughs> uh, Mrs. McMurtry, uh, do you remember you said how much fun I was to have around? I certainly do, Iggy. I love having you around. Well, good, good. Uh, do you remember when you, you, you said if, if you needed anything just to ask? That's right, and I meant it, too. Great. Well, um, how would you like having me around all the time? What, what do you mean, dear? Well, how would you like me to live with you every day? What? But I thought you already had a place to live with Gloria and Jacob and Holly. Well, I do, but they don't appreciate me anymore. I want to live with someone who, who understands me, someone who is kind and loving, someone like you. Oh, my. Well, uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, besides, I've already moved out. Uh, can I stay with you, please? Well, uh, well, you could stay a few days, I suppose, but... To... Yippee! Hey, 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 this is going to be great. If you thought I was fun as a neighbor, wait until you see what I'm like as a roommate. <laughs> say, uh, where's the nearest electrical outlet? Um, uh, well, let's see. Um, it's right over there. Why do you uh, ask? Yeah, well, I just want to know where to plug in my uh, radio. Radio? My goodness, what was that big sigh all about? It's just too quiet around here. I know what you mean. It's just not the same without Iggy around. I miss him. I miss him too. But I don't miss the way he was behaving. I wonder how things are working out at Mrs. McMurtry's. Yoo-hoo! Mrs. McMurtry, we were just talking about you. Come in. Yeah, we were wondering how things were going with you and Iggy. That's the reason I'm here. I just have to talk to you. Really? What's the matter? Well, I don't know what to do. The little lizard leaves his things lying all over the place. He borrows my things without asking, and he plays his radio too loud. Oh, sounds like Iggy all right. Lately, anyway. Well, you have to help me. What am I going to do? Well, uh... Now, I do have an idea of how we might teach Iggy a lesson. But it all depends on you, Mrs. McMurtry. I'll do anything, dear. What is it? Okay, well, now, this may sound a little strange, but here's what you'd have to do. It goes like this. Iggy has a Mess. Ooh. What was that? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, Iggy old pal. <laughs> Mrs. McMurtry, what's going on? Oh, I'm just having a little fun. Huh? That's me, laugh a minute, McMurtry. <laughs> Are you feeling all right, Mrs. McMurtry? I feel wonderful. But why is the place such a mess? Why are you acting so weird? And why are you wearing my favorite bow tie? It's all because of you, Iggy. Me? What did I have to do with it? Well, if it wasn't for you, I never would have changed. Ch what are you talking about? Well, when you first moved in, you started leaving your things around and I trip over them. That upset me. It did? Yes, 
but I didn't say anything. And when you borrowed my things without asking and then couldn't remember where you put them, well, that upset me too. Did it? Yes, but I accepted it. And finally, when you played your radio so loud, my poor little goldfish swam in circles, I was ready to ask you to leave. You were? Yes, but then I began to wonder, why is Iggy acting this way? There must be something to it. So I decided to try and find out for myself. And what did you find out? I love it. Oh, it's so much fun being messy and inconsiderate. I don't have to think of anyone else, and I owe it all to you. Thank you, Iggy, dear. You're welcome, I guess. Uh, uh, have you seen my guitar, Mrs. McMurtry? Oh, I was just playing it, but I, I just can't remember where I put it. It's in the apartment someplace. But... You, yes. you took it without asking and you didn't put it back where you got it? Oh, I guess I forgot. Bye, bye. Sorry. Huh? All right. Turn oh. on the music. <laughs> this is what I call living. Oh, brother. It's your turn, Holly. Roll yeah. the dice and make your move. Okay. Oh. Yellow. So I get a yellow balloon. Hi, guys. Iggy! Iggy. Oh, Iggy, it's great to see you. Come on in. We missed you. Uh -huh. How are things working out with Mrs. McMurtry? Great, terrific. Couldn't be better. Well, maybe it could. You gotta help me. Well, what can we do for you? Well, it's not me, it's Mrs. McMurtry. She's acting really weird. Weird? Oh, well, what do you mean? Well, the apartment is a mess. She's leaving her clothes all over the place. Today, I tripped over something and almost broke my leg. Mm, that, that is weird. That's not all. That's not all. Uh -huh. She borrowed my favorite bow tie without asking. That doesn't sound like Mrs. McMurtry. And now she's over there with a sound turned way up on my radio, dancing around the living room. Why is she acting like that? Well, that's the weirdest part. She says she's acting like that because of me. What am I gonna do? You gotta help me. You who? May I come in? Mrs. McMurtry, what are you doing here? Come in, Mrs. McMurtry. I think it worked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, what's going on? I don't understand. It was Holly's idea. Holly's idea? Yes. Well, I you see, what? I didn't really change, Iggy dear. Huh? We wanted you to feel what it was like to live with someone who behaved just like you. And how did you like it? Like it? I thought it was terrible. I didn't realize how awful I'd been to live with lately. Ah, we did. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were picking on me. Well, I think that was because you were tired from all that painting. Sometimes when people are tired, they get a little cranky. Well, from now on, I'll pick up my stuff, not borrow things without asking, and play my radio a lot quieter. I'll be the perfect roommate. Wonderful! <laughs> Speaking of roommates, if Mrs. McMurtry doesn't mind, what would you think about moving back in with us? Yeah, we really missed you, Egg. Please come home, Iggy. I thought you'd never ask! <laughs> <laughs> so oh, my you, Mrs. I did enjoy your little visit, though, dear.